Our next speaker is Sharif Tusubira from Uganda, who is representing Kansas State. Kestet. Wildcat. Kestet. What comes to mind when you think of diseases in Africa? I'm sure most of you will think of Ebola, HIV, malaria, cholera, tuberculosis, and so many others. But what about those diseases you have not talked about? Those diseases you have not thought about? When you don't think of some diseases, you create a problem. And that problem is stigma. Mm. I'll share with you a story. My name is Sharif. I am part of this problem. I was born with sickle cell disease. Sickle cell is a genetic blood disorder. The kind of disorder that makes your normal red cells turn from being donut shaped to like sickles. What that means is that these cells cannot flow in the blood vessels. This causes a lot of health effects from stroke, pain, uh, from stroke, blindness, physical disability, and pain. Undescribable pain. Pain like you have not thought of. The kind of pain that would make you think cutting off a leaf would be more bearable. The kind of pain that makes you feel valueless. That makes you sometimes question why you were born. In Uganda, fathers normally name their newborns. But my mother named me Tusubira. Why? The dilemma of people living with sickle cell in my country is so great that they don't only have to suffer from the overwhelming health effects, but the deeply rooted stigma alone causes sometimes family members to hide their sick. Hide their sick for the fear of being shunned from social functions. 75% of the world's sickle cell is in sub-Saharan Africa. With 90% of those who are born not making it to their fifth birthday. When my mother gave me the name to Subira, she had hope in her heart that probably I will not die to be a statistic, that probably I will not die to be among those who don't make it out of their fifth birthday. And that's why we founded Uganda Sickle Cell Rescue Foundation. At the Uganda Sickle Cell Rescue Foundation, what we're doing is help offer free testing and free sickle cell screening and testing for people to make an informed choice to take a test and know. Because, like I said, my mother named me, not my father. Because my father left when my mother gave birth to me. Just because I, ha just because I had sickle cell. We go ahead to do a family, family empowerment. Why? Because families hide their sick. People are more comfortable saying, I have HIV than I have sickle cell. So we go ahead and do awareness, community awareness, such that people don't have to feel stigmatized and discriminated. My call to you today is to take a sickle cell test, first of all, to help you make an informed decision. My call to you today is to think of sickle cell. Think of the millions of Africans out there, the millions of people in the world who have sickle cell. Support them, and love them, and cherish them, and welcome them into your life, the way you've welcomed me into the fellowship, into this Mandela Washington family. <laughs> my name is Tusubira, which means we hope. We are hoping for a world free from sickle cell. I hope for a world where people with sickle cell would not feel isolated where families will not have to hide their sick just for the fear of, of social function, just for the fear of being shunned from social functions. I dream for that world where we are free from sickle cell. Thank you. <laughs>